Hello everyone! I hope you are all doing very, very well. My name is Lunanji and for those of you that are new, welcome. For everyone that is coming back, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. So, let's first address the elephant in the room. I am currently on Invisalign and when I'm filming this video, this is probably going to go up um, next week, but it's currently September 25th and I got them installed three days ago, so September 22nd, and yeah, I'm still trying to work around my speech, get used to them. It's gonna be for six months, and uh, I'll get into the story on next week's video. But yeah, if you guys kind of hear a bit of a lisp, that's the reason why. Um, that's also the reason why this video is going to be a voiceover, so please bear with me while I get used to this situation going on. But for today's video, I decided to let's say recreate let's say be inspired by this picture that i'm going to post on the screen of nicole scherzinger which i absolutely love 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 her let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite song by her slash the pussycat dolls because i absolutely love love the dolls and i love nicole so i saw the picture and i decided you know what i want to do something inspired by that and I knew I had this dress in my closet, so again, it's inspired by not 100% a recreation. But yeah, that's what we will be doing today. So before we move on, please make sure to click the subscription button as well as the notification bell. That way you can keep up with my future content. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm just speeding through this part because it's just my usual favorites. As you can see, it's the Smashbox Priming Water and then my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And then for complexion, I am going in with the JLo Beauty uh, Complexion Booster in the shade Warm Bronze. And then after that, I will prime my lids with the Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Buff Bisque, as well as the Fenty Ease Drops in the shade number seven. I have noticed that mixing in these foundations gives me such a nice complexion, so I love this um, complexion combination. For concealer, I'm just going with my trusty Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild in the shade Light Neutral. And I know, I know, I will be getting more concealers um, to kind of switch things up. I just like going through product and not wasting it, so I always use what's in my stash. And then to set everything, I am also going in with my favorite, which is the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect powder in the translucent shade. And then for brows again, the usual, my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade medium brown and setting them in place with the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade number five. Now going in with the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette, I am going to use the shade Rough as a transition and pop that on the crease and little by little build it up as needed. Again, definitely um, intensify the color as desired and work in layers. This will prevent you from going overboard too quickly. It's always better to build slowly and blend rather than deposit so much color and then not being able to take it all back. And then going in with a flat shader brush, I'm going in with the shade Hypnotic and placing this on the lid. Nicole did have a little bit more of a shimmery lid, but I personally felt that there was already going to be so much glitter and so much glow that I wanted to keep the lid a little bit more on the matte side and let the focus be on the glitter that is coming up. And then again, as you can see, I just switched back to my fluffy brush to blend all of the colors in place. Then going back in with that shader brush, I am going back with the shade Hypnotic and placing this on the lower lash line. And 
switching back to the fluffy brush, I am going in with the shade Hypnotic and just blending that lower lash line. And then grabbing the shade Naughty, Naughty Naughty. I'm going to start darkening up and smoking out that outer corner. Again, same process, little by little and build the product. Don't deposit a lot of color at once. It'll be difficult to just, you know, blend away and um, take it all back if you do put too much color. So it's always better to build rather than to try to take back. And to darken up that outer corner a little bit more, I'm going in with the shade Spicy. And I am popping this more on the lash line, almost like a liner. Again, I love this method a lot because it lifts the eye. And also popping this on the lower lash line. And again, I'm just going back with the fluffy brush and a little bit of the shade Hypnotic and blending that darker shade. I am now going in with my Glowing in Grease face palette and mixing the shades Athens and Milos and popping them on my inner corner. Later on, I will also pop them on the brow bone. Um, again, most of the colors on the lid were a little bit matte. So I'm like, all right, you know, we can get away with putting a little shimmer on the brow bone. And again, grabbing the fluffy brush just to make sure that all of the colors are blended and there are no harsh lines. I wanted to try the sample that I got from Sephora of the Huda Beauty Mascara. This is like the double-ended one that has a curling side and then a volumizing side. Um, I actually have to say it looks pretty good. If I really wanted to, I could have just um, left my lashes like that and not, you know, add falsies, but I wanted to be extra, so I added falsies. Um, these are, of course, the Ardell Gummy Wispies. I love how natural they look, so I always run back to them and then using the liquid shadow glitters from elf cosmetics this is from the retro paradise collection i'm going to just start placing this on the outer corner and silly me because days after i filmed this nicole posted a clearer picture a much brighter and sharper image of her look and they were actually gems it wasn't foil or glitter or anything like that it was actual gemstones so for this process, if you want to use gemstones, that's probably the right way to go because that's actually what she used. It's just the first image that I saw, forget it, um, I thought it was foil, not, not gems. But you know, it achieved the look. That's, that's all that matters and this is a more of an inspiration, not so much a recreation. And now going in with a brown pencil liner, I am just going to pop this on the waterline just to um, give my eyes a little bit more of a smolder. Nicole has a very beautiful like uh, smolder, I guess. She's very sultry, so I wanted to replicate that a little bit. Now for face, I'm going in with the She Glam Stereo Face Palette and using the shade Tanned Goddess to bronze up my face. Again, Nicole is such a golden goddess um, that, you know, I used a lot of different complexion products to try to make me look a little bit more glowy um, because I'm a little pale. Even though I just went to the Caribbean a few months back, but I'm already pale. I don't see much sunlight. <laughs> And then I'm just going in with my Blendiful from Tati Beauty and then a clean face brush and just blending that bronzer. Now going back in with the Blow In and Grease palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm just using the shades Mykonos and Paros for my cheeks. And then going in with the shade Athens as a highlighter. Honestly, I love this palette so much. It's literally one of my favorites. 
and I probably will have to repurchase because this one is so destroyed. Now for lips, I'm going in with my Milani lip pencil in the shade Most Natural and overlining my lips. I always like to start with my natural line and then once I do have that down, I start overlining a little bit. Uh, this is just easier for me rather than right away go and overline. Um, I like to see where my natural lips are and then go a little bit above that. And then using my NYX lipstick in the shade A La Mode. This is such a pretty nude color and it's very creamy and comfortable so I cannot get away from it. And topping it off with my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Blue. This makes the lips look extra juicy and oh my god, I love the scent. I love everything about this lip gloss. And sealing the deal with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. After that, I'm just going to work on my hair and outfit and then be right back. All right, and this is it. This is the final look. Uh, again, not 100% like Nicole's because the shiny parts were a little bit more foiled, not so glittery, at least from what I saw in the picture. But again, this is my take on it. Also, the tones in the shadow are a little bit more on the reddish brown side, not so slate slash gray side of the scale because again, I have a rose gold dress and she has a silver one. So I kind of wanted to go along more of like this um, color scheme, but still be inspired by her. So this is what we came up with. And again, I'm sorry that my speech is, you know, a little funky right now because of the Invisalign, but I'm working through it. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you can keep up with my future content and also my smile progress. And also don't forget to check me out on social media. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye.